Friends and family members, we have the pleasure of seeing these two persons present themselves before God and all these witnesses for the purpose of being united in the holy bonds of matrimony. Therefore, if any person can show just cause why these two may not lawfully be joined together as husband and wife, let him speak now or forever hereafter hold his peace. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Marriage is a divine, distinctive, designed, directed, and enduring institution, instituted by Almighty God, and given to man in the state of innocence and happiness. Hear the divine record of the first marriage in human history. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. And out of the ground the Lord formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them and whatsoever called them called he every living creature that was named thereof. And Adam gave name to the cattle and the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field but for Adam there was none found a help meet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and as he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And out of the rib the Lord God had taken from man, made he woman. And brought her unto the man, and Adam said, This is now bone of my bone, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they both, naked, the man and his wife, were not ashamed. God gives specific directions and regulations for the governing of the marital estate. Paul addressed this when he said, Wives, submit yourselves to your own husband, as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of every wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. And husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he may sanctify it and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself, for no man yet ever hated his own flesh, but nourished it and cherished it 
Even so, as the Lord hath, for we are more members of one body, of his flesh and of his bone. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. And this is the great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you, in particular, so love his wife even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. If with confidence and trust in each other, you are now ready to accept each other as husband and wife, to pursue life's journey together, you will acknowledge this decision by taking hearts and hands. You, Aaron, take Angie, who you now hold by your hand to be your true and lawful wife, to love, and cherish, and joy in pain, in sickness, and health and forsaking all others, cleave only to her, so long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Angie, take Aaron, whom you hold by the hand, to be your lawful and true husband, to love him, honor, obey, and cherish him, in joy and in pain, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, cleave to him only, so long as you both shall live? I do. May I have the rings, please? Let us pray. <clears throat> Father, we thank you for this couple that have come together to join in this holy, sacred estate. And Lord, we know these rings are but a symbol, Lord, of the, the unifying love, of the never-ending love that you have for us. But I ask you to bless they that presented and they that wear it, that they may continue in that love and in thy favor so long as they both shall live. Amen. Repeat after me as you place the ring. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. The Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Amen. Amen. For as much as Aaron and Angie have consented together before God in this company, and the giving of their vows and the giving and receiving of rings to abide together in holy matrimony, by the authority invested in me by uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the state of Ohio, I now pronounce that they are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. What, no problem? <laughs> I get to have the, the great pleasure of being the first one ever to present to you all Mr. and Mrs. Aaron Culver.